Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, or ERAS as we call it, uh, is a program that our patients go through uh, that starts actually before surgery, so the acronym is a little bit of a misnomer. Uh, so they come into our office and we give them the lay of the land. So we tell them what they can expect before surgery, during surgery, and after surgery. And this helps them navigate the process so that there are minimal questions as they go through it. Uh, we tell them what to expect from their primary care physician, from the anesthesiologist. Then we go through the steps of the surgery and then what will happen after their surgery while they're in the hospital. And then we also talk about expectations postoperatively once they're home so that hopefully they can get through what is usually a very trying time uh, with some kind of guidance and uh, a roadmap. Biggest tenets of ERAS is improving health literacy in our patients. So we want them to be active participants in their healthcare because undergoing surgery for a potential cancer diagnosis is a major undertaking for both the surgeon and the patient. So we want them to fully understand what they're getting into so that they can participate. So a lot of patients come to us already somewhat deconditioned. They're not always in the best of health when they need surgery. And so getting patients up and walking afterwards helps them to get back on their feet sooner, which is a shock to a lot of patients. They think they would have just been under anesthesia, had major surgery, that they should be in bed. The opposite is actually true. They should be up and walking as soon as they're awake. We have our physical therapists that are involved with our ERAS protocol as well. Our nurses are very educated on the topic, and so we really, I call it tough love. We ask them to get up and move, and also we try to control their pain as best they can so that they can do those things.